Oh, hello. <clears throat> this is Tom from anti-proton.com. I just got back from several days at a, uh, well, let's just say a remote location. I was working and doing whatever it is that I do for a living. But anyhow, uh, I was at a hotel. It was crazy because I found that the furniture of my hotel was mildly radioactive. It's really, really weird. If you uh, seen my higher readings on RadiationNetwork.com, that's the circle around where Virginia is, then you'd know all about it. The real reason that I uh, wanted to talk to you today was I picked up an interesting new drink, and I want to find out whether or not it's any good. Now, according to the way copyrights work, I can pick up a drink bottle or something that has a logo on it, and I can drink it, and it's not a copyright violation because I'm doing it. I'm not claiming it's mine or anything, and it's called fair use relatively un, uh, understood, well, not, not so well understood term. <clears throat> but anyhow, I just bought this new, this is, let's see, uh, Courvoisier, um, yeah, let's see, Courvoisier, yeah, Courvoisier, uh, Rose. So, it's a cognac. Not sure how many years this one's aged. Came with this nice little pack right here, including a glass, which I just washed out. Two little glasses. It costs the same as this, but it came with two glasses. A note, whenever you go to a store and you're going to buy yourself a bottle of liquor, always check to see if they have gift boxes. They usually cost the same or like a couple bucks more, and you get some little toy. It's like a, it's like one of those little toys you get in a... Um, it's called a fast food restaurant. I don't eat at them, so I don't know what they're called. Right. We're going to see if this is good. Needless to say, the fact that you're watching this video means it was good. Because if I drink this and it's horrifying, I probably won't post the video. So, let's see here. What do I get? I'm not really a fan of pink, though. Pink is, well, not really my favorite color. I like teal. But whatever, this looks to me like it's probably a, um, they probably used a blush wine for this, that's probably where the pink comes from, because you know what, um, cognac is, basically. Alright, that's all that comes in the box, nice little box. Good looking stuff right here, good looking stuff. Product of France, well, duh. Of course it's a product of France. It's only 18% alcohol by volume, that's not very much. Then again, we don't drink to get drunk. No, 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 no. We drink because it tastes good. Remember, uh, only drink if you are of legal age to drink, which is 21 where I live. That's my um, quote for legal purposes. And let's see if this is any good. I don't like letting my cognac breathe. I like it down the hatch quick. Well, I sip it, but I mean, I like to... Oh my god. That has the um, consistency of honey. Do I have a piece of paper or something sitting around? Let me get a piece of paper so you can see. Here. Maybe with this light reflected, you'll be able to see a little better. There. See? It's kind of a pinkish... Consistency. Let's rub that around a little. Ooh, it's really fragrant. And now for the sampling part. I've had a long day. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This might be the smoothest liqueur I've ever had. Well, it's not a liqueur. That's incorrect. It's a liquor. But, that's sort of like a liqueur. But, oh my god. That's smooth. That's damn smooth. 
It doesn't taste as high in alcohol as regular cognac. I don't recall what the actual normal proof is. It's pretty low usually, but oh my god. The flavor is... Um, It's got like a kind of like a it's almost like a honey fruity kind of flavor. I'm not going to get into notes and motes of this and that, but um, but it's a honey fruity sort of flavor. When I say fruity, I mean like peach or plum or something like that, one of those types of fruits. But it doesn't have any of the tartness or anything like that. It's almost like the tiniest little bit of a sweetness of it. It's actually, I shouldn't say tiny. Tiny. It's actually quite sweet. Ah. Uh, this is not as good as the Chapelet Cabernet Sauvignon 2002, but it's not bad. Of course, it doesn't touch the Glenfiddich Solera Reserve 15-year uh, single malt, but it's good. So anyhow, this is Tom from anti-proton.com. Uh, Corvossier people, don't sue me. I'm not, you know, doing anything other than saying I like your product, apparently. So... Who knows? I'm sure all suits will be coming immediately because everybody's so damn over litigious these days. But obviously, this is not mine, it's someone else's. The brand, I mean. So, no copyright infringement, just showing. This has been Tom from anti proton.com, and I'll put up my other videos as soon as I get a chance, but I'm just blazed over. I just wanted you to know if this was good or not. Bye bye. Oh my god, look at the honey color. Good, good stuff.